Greetings, everybody, and welcome to my red ball. I hope this video finds you in the best of health. And today in this video, we will do the post-match analysis of Villarreal vs Real Madrid game. And Real Madrid have drawn yet another game at La Ceramica, the home ground of Villarreal. So we will have a look at the overall performance of our players, and let's get started. Now coming to the match, we had pretty low expectations from this match when we saw the team sheet for the game. We had Ramos in defence missing, we had Casemiro and Valverde missing in the midfield, and in attack we had Benzema and Jovic missing as well. These are players, apart from Jovic, who are starters in the team, and without these names, our squad did look very thin. But despite these absentees, I thought Real Madrid played very well in the first half, and the start that we had got set us up very well for a dominant first half performance. Carvajal returned to the starting lineup and I was delighted to see him back. We have missed him dearly and right within two minutes he showed us exactly what he brings to the side. Coming to Mariano as we had a number of absentees, this was a big opportunity for him. This was his first start since May of 2019. It's crazy that we have not seen him play more often. It's been 18 months since he made a start for Real Madrid. If my memory serves me well, his last noticeable performance was back in March against Barcelona where he downed the Catalan scoring the second goal in the El Clasico last season and since then he has been sidelined from the squad for some reason or the other and we were almost starting to forget that we had a player called Mariano in the side. The recent happenings forced the hand of Zidane who completely ran out of options in the center forward department. Thus this was a big match for Mariano to show Zidane that he can play an important role in the side and I think he made a statement yesterday. Both him and Carvajal combined for the first goal that we got in the second minute of the game. Tony Cruz had picked out Carvajal making a run on the right flank. Carvajal tries to link up with Vasquez who happened to be in an offside position but the ball comes off the Villarreal defender and again falls for Carvajal and then Carvajal put in a delightful, perfectly weighted cross for Mariano, who took his chance very well. It never looked like Mariano was not going to get a goal there, and throughout the match I thought Mariano played very well. He went on that brilliant solo run where he tried to link up with Vasquez, but subsequently his shot at goal was ruled offside, and he was hustling with the defenders, playing with confidence throughout the game. That early goal gave Mariano the confidence boost which helped him perform at a good level as the game went on. Coming to Carvajal, he too had a good game, he was good defensively and it was after a long time that both a right back and left back position was looking defensively sound. I was a bit surprised to see Carvajal starting as he was coming back from a major injury but clearly Zidane saw Carvajal was ready and he put his trust in Carvajal to strengthen the defence in the absence of our leader. It was a dominant display by Madrid in the first half. They didn't really allow Villarreal to get going in the game. Villarreal could not create much and we went into half time with the scoreline 1-0 in our favour and we rightly deserved it with that first half display. The humiliating loss that Real Madrid were handed against Valencia may have been at the back of the mind of our players and hence they had to give a response. They played like they had something in between their teeth and that probably may be a reason Real started the game well. Now talking about our second half performance, Real Madrid did concede that goal in the second half. As the game progressed, Villarreal were having more of the possession, more of the control and Dani Parejo, the veteran in the midfield for Villarreal, did have a good chance to get his side back in the game. But it was the substitutions of Unai Emery that made the difference for Villarreal. Estupian and Chakwizi were pitted in by Emery and two of them were involved as Villarreal won a penalty to get back in the game. Estupian had put in a beautiful defence splitting pass for Chakwizi and he did what was necessary to get the penalty. Kotua was second to the ball, Chikwizi very cleverly took a touch, taking the ball away from Kotua, and in the process he got himself clipped. The referee had no doubt in his mind as he pointed towards the penalty spot, and Kotua with guilt on his face didn't really make much of an appeal. Gerard Moreno stepped up to take the penalty, and he puts it low towards Kotua's right, and Kotua went the right way, got his hand to it, but he could not prevent the ball from going into the back of the net. The second half up till the goal of Villarreal, Real Madrid looked like they had taken a relaxed approach. You can see they were trying to play the ball without much penetration, and obviously we did see a drop in the intensity. We had a number of our players out on international duty who were in the starting lineup. There was Modric, Cruz, Varane who had played good amount of minutes during the international break and then Nacho Carvajal were also returning from their injuries and hence these factors contributing towards the lack of control in the second half. Adding to that, Madrid did put in a good shift in the first half which did affect the energy levels towards the latter stages of the game. 
Those were the happenings and now the concluding remark. I am not very disappointed with the result. It was a tough away game in a stadium that we have failed to get a victory since 2017 and the circumstances were really difficult for the players and Zidane to expect them to play football at full throttle. We were expecting Casemiro and Benzema to play against Villarreal based on the pictures and training that we had seen in the past week. And then the Jovic news suddenly ruled him out of the team as well. So I can understand Zidane must have had to make those last minute changes to the team selection, to his tactics. And it does get difficult to make those late tweaks to the side with less than 24 hours in hand. So I am okay with the point that Real Madrid got away from home and to be frank a draw is something that I expected and that is something many Madridistas expected as well keeping in mind the circumstances. It's just that Real Madrid started well, played better than we expected in the first half and having taken the advantage they could not push on from there to get all the three points and this is what really leaves a sour taste in our mouth. Elsewhere we had the other big match played between Atletico and Barcelona. It was our arch rivals from Madrid who had the upper hand in the game. I I did take out the time to watch that game and tell you what, I was really impressed with the performance of Atletico Madrid. It was by no means a defensive performance that you generally expect from Atletico and the scoreline may deceive you to an extent but Atletico did have a go at Barcelona. Their attacking play was much better and Atletico at this point of time are looking like a bigger title contender than Barcelona. If they continue like this, there is a good chance that they may go on to have a very good season. They usually have the defensive side of the game sorted out. Now the attacking side of the game looks much better, much improved and they are not just the sitting back absorbing pressure and hitting on the counter side anymore. Looking at the league table we currently are 3 points away from the top of the table and Atletico and Sociedad are tied on 20 points. Atletico obviously have a game in hand and Sociedad will now have a chance to extend the lead and leave Real Madrid trailing by 6 points. So we have to pick ourselves up quickly, start playing with more consistency at least when it comes to result so that we can avoid seeing the gap increase between us and the teams ahead of us at the top of the table. So those are my thoughts from the performance that Real Madrid put up yesterday. We will continue to analyze the Real Madrid vs Villarreal game in a much more detailed manner in the next video. We will talk about the tactics, the formation, the idea that Zidane had in mind when it comes to team selection and the role that Modric and Cruz had to play in the game. We still have a lot to discuss about the previous performance which we will touch upon in the next video. Now I would like to know what did you make of the performance of our players? Are you satisfied with the result just like me? And if any of you have watched the Atletico game, what do you make of the threat that Atletico are posing this season? Write in the comments below. I will see you soon. Till then, stay safe and as always, Hala Madrid.